Hello, on this video I want to show you how to create a simple Hello World program using Visual Studio 2019. Here's my Visual Studio and this is the version that I'm using. So I'm going to create a project and I'm going to pick the ASP.NET Core web application. Now click on next, give it a name, Click on create and now I'm going to click on web application module view controller and then uncheck the HTTPS, click on create and here I have the structure of my MVC application. So I'm going to run this program just to see what I have. And Visual Studio created for me a couple of views. But I don't want this, so I'm going to remove this view and I'm going to create a very simple view for the Hello World. So inside the Views folder, there's a folder called Home, and I'm going to delete both files. Next, I'm going to my controller. And I'm going to leave the constructor alone. I'm going to leave this action alone. And I'm going to delete the other ones. So now I have a single action. And I have no view for that. So let's add the view for this action. So I'm going to right click and add a view. I do not want to use a layout page. And I'm going to click on add. And now, inside the body, I'm going to put a hello world. And now let's run this program. And here's my hello world. Very simple. Let's take a look on the structure of MVC. So this is the pattern of MVC. There's the model. There's a view in the controller, and everything passes through the controller. But our current program, we do not have any model. We just have something like this, the controller and the index. That's all we have. So back to my home controller. Here I have a action called index. And this action returns the view, also called index. It knows which view to return based on the name of the action. So the action named index will return a view called index. Now, how does it know to load this action first? Well, it knows from the startup file. So on the startup file, if you scroll down, you're going to see here that the pattern of the routes is home for the controller and index for the action. So because of that, whenever this program loads, it looks for the home controller and it looks for the index action. So it goes to home controller, it finds the index action, and then from the index, it returns a view called index. So hence, when we run this program, we will get this index uh, to load first. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.